The snowpack up here supplies summer water to the whole southwest. Snow is a physical form of a water reservoir, and if there's not enough of it, it's gone. As a kid, I would keep baseball statistics. I like numbers, they're fixed. I sit and watch it snow and I write it down. Anybody could do it. Being socially inept made me so I could do it for 50 years, but, but anyone can sit there and watch something like that. One of the biggest changes that I've seen here over the years is that we're getting a permanent snowpack later and we're losing it earlier. Over the past 50 years or so, that's changed by about 11 days. When my hips were going bad is when I started to realize that I was losing it. Every year becomes that much more precious. That's why I went through the hip replacements to prolong it. This year is so much more improved that unless something else goes wrong, which it will, but unless it's severe, I think I can last out here a while longer. I think of all these basins I used to ski into, and chances are I'm not going to get there again. I sort of feel bad about that, but there's something in looking at how an environment changes day to day. It's not as majestic, it's not as dramatic, I skied that. But it's still, you know, it's still something I enjoy and appreciate. And as you age, you learn to adjust to things, both in terms of what you can and can't do, and what you want to do. I think the long-term future of the data I do will be more of a historic archive. Oh, look, that's the way they used to do it. Oh, boy, that was bad. But I do think the main validity in it, the main positive in it, it is a snow study that's been done at the same site in the same manner for a long time and for a time before there were very many remote high-altitude sites. If we know when snow disappeared, then we know all these other things about how the ecosystem responds to climate. I try and measure snow from space using satellites. It's difficult to know whether your methods are working exactly the way that you think that they are unless you have ground truth. And Billy's data provides that ground truth. We know that his data is right. So that means that we can compare all the things that we uh, think we can see to the things that we know are right. You know, you need modern technology for a lot of things. Now, everyone takes for granted, sure, we've got satellites, radar, uh, all this stuff for weather. Well, once upon a time, we didn't. What people are studying now is going to be the future of how we're going to tell how much water is available. How should we plan now? Not in August, when we've already run out of it. And it could lead to things like, well, we really can't have green lawns in the middle of Arizona anymore because that's not a good use of the limited water resource. And water is more precious than gold.